We had no idea what to expect because we're in a brand new building in the classrooms. It was phenomenal what we saw in the instruction that we were getting. The building was revered. The place was revered. It was QECVI, and we were one of QECVI. To this day, if someone realizes you were from QE and you were from QE in the 70s, oh yeah, you were part of those basketball teams and those football teams, and uh, it's not something that's just hung on with us, and, and it's kind of like part of our identity now. My fondest memory, ironically enough, was when uh, our school was slated for a possible swap with uh, Rigi and the student body banded together. We needed to um, remain in the community and it's, it is ironic because uh, we've been able to, in the end, uh, maintain something very important to this community with uh, the coming of a new school. People say, oh, it's just a building, it's just four walls, it has a roof, but it's so much more than that. So many relationships have taken place here. Many staff and students see it as a safe place, as a second home even. This is definitely a second home for me. I knew the custodians extremely well. Uh, sometimes I'd even help them clean the floors in the gym, uh, just because this was this is the space I wanted to be. The school became a respite for uh, from, from our own homes. And uh, so we came to school and uh, we had a second family here. And this, the teachers really did take care of us in, in many, many ways beyond teaching, that's for sure. Mr. Murray, JL, who's those that knew him, who every year in September told us, nothing is impossible, you just have to find a way. The people that work here are the people that care. I had a lot of teachers really shape me as far as academics go, help me get to the next level. When I first started teaching here, uh, the number of students going to college and university was about five. So I think the staff was proactive in what they did and raising money for the students to be able to apply for college and university. So now this year in our final year, 50% of the graduates will go on to post-secondary, whereas five years ago that was not the case. We as um, former members of the QECVI family need to remember um, not to be sad because it's over, but smile because it happened. When I think of QECVI, three words that come to my mind are home, family, and future. If you ask someone who went here and had ties here, there was opportunity, there was caring adults for everyone, there was groups but not cliques, um, and there was always a safe place for people to go supportive, caring, and inclusive, and, and uh, we'll never forget. When I look at it, this school made me what I've become and what I've done for the last 50 years. It has made us uh, better people. It has made us appreciative of the supports that we've been given and the supports that we have in turn uh, given to our students. So um, I certainly think that we are all better for having been here. <laughs>